What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today in this video guys, we are going to do the beginner's guide introduction to Arbitrum. Welcome to Narnia guys. All right, we're going to go ahead and talk about Arbitrum, how to get onto the layer two and well, what are some of the rides over here? So first off, there are a couple of options to get onto Arbitrum, but guys, this is a beginner's guide. How in the world do we get on Arbitrum if we don't have Arbitrum on our meta mask? All right, so this is how you do it. All you literally do is guide to this, and it's guide to Arbitrum 1. I'll leave a link in the description below. But it basically, you just open up your MetaMask, go boom, boom, and it pulls up your MetaMask, and you do this drop down, and you do custom RPC. This network name, RPC URL, chain ID, da, 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 da. You just copy and paste all this junk in here. And then you hit save, and then you're on R1. So now you've added the chain to Arbitrum 1. Now we got to get some money over here. How do we do that? Well, you can use the Arbitrum bridge. You can send some Ethereum or some ERC20s. Whatever you want to send, you just paste the token address and you can send it over. It's a little bit janky on this website, but hey, it is what it is. Gotta love crypto, right? Or you guys can use the seller bridge. I like the seller bridge um, because, well, first off, you don't have to play with the ETH mainnet fees. And, well, yeah, you do have to get some Ethereum over on Arbitrum. Um, but they are they do have somewhat of a faucet in the Discord on seller bridge. I want to give a shout out to Annie Mesh. She kind of bailed me out. I did transact some um, Ethereum over to Ar Arbitrum. The problem that I had was I brought wrapped Ethereum over here. So if you're doing that, you got to make sure you get some Ethereum from somewhere. So either have a friend help you out or have someone else help you out in one of the discords. I know they have a gas discord on the seller network and you kind of just DM them and they can help you out. Or, well, you can use the Arbitrum bridge. Uh, this is the one and then bridge over Ethereum. So there's a couple of options or you can hit us up in Telegram and we'll help a friend out. Um, our Telegram chat's in the description below as well. Anyways, guys, the seller bridge, pretty cool, easy to use, and the fees are a lot lower. Let me just show you what the fees are just so you guys can see. I'm probably going to have to switch, but um, anyways, just so you guys understand how much the fees are. So for the Ethereum fees, it's like super cheap, and then for like transferring USDT, it's going to be like five bucks. So let me just show you guys, uh, this is what the ETH looks like. I'm going to show you from Arbitrum to Matic. It's literally 0.01 ETH. It's really not much at all. Uh, actually, it's less than that to get onto Arbitrum. It's 0 0.005 ETH. And then if you were to transact on the main bridge, this one would cost a little bit more. And if you're actually transacting to get off of Arbitrum to another chain, you have to wait. It's about seven days. You see this note for standard bridge withdrawals. So in my opinion, if you're trying to get off Arbitrum, your best bet is probably going to use the seller bridge. So something to keep in mind. I mean, if you need your funds instantly, if you're fine waiting seven days, go ahead, use the Arbitrum bridge. And actually the gas fees, I, I don't know. I'd say seller is still the best, but anyways, not financial advice, not a financial advisor. Make sure you play around with it with a little bit of funds. So the first and go-to one we're going to talk about is Uniswap. Uniswap did not load for me the pools, but if it loads for you, what you want to look for is a pool that has a low TVL in it and a high, high trading volume. So here's an example. I'm going to show you on Optimism because Optimism loads for me. If you look at these different pools, you see right here, the TVL is 11.21 million and the volume is 2.18. That's an okay pool. Probably not the best, especially with a 0 0.05 swap fee. However, if you go something to like this, Link and ETH, a 1% swap fee with 203,725 in TVL, that's really not that bad. Or check this out. Look, this gangbusters right here. 4.17 million in trading volume and 6.57 in TVL. That's like huge arbitrage. Why is that? Well, because if you calculate it, what is that? Five, that's almost, that's, that's, that's five times what the total amount, or well, just about five times the amount of TVL. So there's more rewards to go across. Why is that? Well, it's 0.05 for the swap fee. And the 1% one's really not that bad either, but it's 0.05% for every, like, it doesn't matter what amount. So if you do 4.17 million times 0.05%, 
that amount of money is going to all of these people in this TVL pool. So the lower the TVL, the more you can make because, well, you're probably not a whale. But if you are, good for you. So Uniswap is one of them. They don't have incentivized pools, but they have other ones like Dodo. So guys, the next one is Dodo. I really like Dodo. You guys know how much I love Dodo. Um, I talk about it all the time on this channel. Uh, I actually am staking Dodo on Ethereum. It is earning me like 95% APY. It's gangbusters. I love it. But the point is, guys, Dodo is fire sauce. It's super undervalued. I believe they, I didn't, not really lost the market share, but no one really used them much. In my opinion, they're the best aggregator out there, even better than one inch, because they aggregate with one inch, they zero X, they aggregate with more exchanges than one inch does. And it also includes Dodo. And Dodo includes its own, well, pools. So people can actually crowd pool over here. So they're able to even get, well, they're able to get even better rates because they have more pools to choose from. So Dodo, on this, uh, on these pairs, you can actually do single-sided liquidity. So instead of depositing a bunch of tokens or uh, two different pairs, you can just deposit a single token. And how you would do this is you can go over to here on the mining section and you can say, all right, I'm super bullish on ETH and I don't want to uh, deal with impermanent loss, so I'm just going to stake ETH. You can stake ETH, say same junk, different day, boom, done, thanks, see you in the next one. And you can earn some Dodo rewards, or you can do it with USDC, USDT, um, Dodo, USDC, same junk, different day. This is where you can stake your LP tokens as well. Make sure you guys take a look at Dodo. It is a fun one. You got Dodo, Uniswap, and the next one is Curve. Curve's got some really good, really, really good APRs right now or APYs actually. Uh, they just launched the liquidity mining incentive today. And as you guys can see, it is really tanking the rewards. Um, the reason why I say tanking is because like they used to be way higher than this, but you got to factor in impermanent loss, especially with USDT, wrapped BTC and wrapped ETH. That is going to be a rough on, uh, it's not rough, but it's going to be more rough than using USDC or USDT and wrap BCC, wrap BTC and REN BTC. Hence why it costs more. Like you, you get paid more to use this, but it has more impermanent loss. So it is what it is. So you got Curve, Dodo, Uniswap. Everyone knows how to use Curve. If you don't know how, I made a couple of videos on Curve so you can understand it. The next one is Sushi. Guys, Sushi is fire sauce. I love sushi. Sushi is, it's not crazy on the rewards. Right now they have uh, 15 sushi going out per day, but maybe these rewards will get higher. I don't know. Time will tell, but the biggest thing, guys, is play around with each of these. I mean, I don't think there is going to be an airdrop, but if any of these actual uh, D apps like Sushi Swap or Uniswap or Dodo says, hey, thanks for using our protocol early on Arbitrum, here's a reward. That's what Synthetix did. Synthetix airdropped, I think it was some Alluvium token or I believe it was Alluvium, that or another token. And you were airdropped that token for uh, being an early staker on layer two. And also another thing you guys want to take a look at on Sushi is going to be the lending section. When this comes out on Arbitrum, it'll be a lot of fun. You can borrow, lend, play around with it, and there's no impermanent loss because you don't have to pair with a, another token. Next off, guys, is Balancer. You guys know Balancer. Nothing special about it. You guys understand it. Um, they have some liquidity mining incentives over here as well. You're going to be getting it in the BAL token right here. So as you can see, you got swap APRs and liquidity mining APR. So really, in my opinion, between Curve and uh, Balancer, Cur a Balancer allows you to get a little more options with a more creative uh, liquidity pair. So for example, if you're really bullish on Sushi and you wanna LP, you can do 80% Sushi and 20% ETH. Yes, there are no rewards right now, but hopefully they'll start getting some rewards soon. Just so you guys can see, that's why I like Balancer. You can make some creative different pools and well, it gets rid of not it doesn't get rid of but it lowers the impact of impermanent loss and the next thing i want to talk about is nfts so rb ducks or arb ducks arb ducks.com this is going to be a interesting protocol because it could be a early nft i don't know time will tell we'll see what, what see what happens i actually minted a duck just in case but you guys can see you can mint these right now for 0.01 eth I mean, it's going to cost you 35 bucks. And some of these guys are selling 0.05 or 0.5 ETH, 0.02, 0.69, 0.01, 0.01, 0.01, 0.01, 0.01, 0.01, 0.01, 0.01, 0.01, 0.01, 0.01, 0.01, 0.01, 0.
three ETH, 0.6 ETH. I mean, if Arbitrum, Arbitrum takes off, I mean, you got to bet your bonds. Well, they're probably going to be going for something, especially if we go through an NFT craze. I don't know. Time will tell, guys. Uh, we'll see what happens. But there's a total supply of 7,777 ducks. So claim your duck now. I mean, why not? It's 0.01 ETH. I mean, geez. I mean, check out my guy. I went ahead and minted one. I, I kind of got ripped off. My guy just has a tie, but hey, it is what it is, loser. And guys, you can also use something like DeFi Llama. DeFi Llama is pretty good about talking about the upcoming protocols. You can be like Avalanche, Binance, Terra, Phantom, Polygon, uh, Ethereum, Solana, Arbitrum. You can select whichever ones you want. Obviously, we're talking about Arbitrum, so we're going to show you the ones that are, well, interesting. Um, guys, I already talked about RV9. I, I'm not playing around with it. Um, that's it's a Ponzi and it's a scam in my opinion. I wouldn't mess with it. Uh, but hey, if that's your thing, if you want to play around with something like this, uh, go for it. I mean, in my opinion, these yields really aren't worth it um, compared to like other DGen farms. I mean, stinking 1,682% APR. Yeah, that's great and all, but you're having to buy the Nyan token. <laughs> I mean, then you have the ETH Nyan, so it has a bunch of impermanent loss. So is that APR going to pay for it? Probably not. So that's something you guys got to factor in with these pools. And if you're playing with a little bit amount of money, well, the gas fees are going to hit you. I mean, the gas fees aren't free. They're actually like 2 $3, and depending on how much you're depositing, well, it's not going to make sense. It's not going to work. So you can look on DeFi Llama, look at the different um, things that are working on Arbitrum. Uh, but like I said, my favorite ones are probably going to be Dodo, Sushi Swap, Uniswap if it loads for me so I can see which pools are making bank. And then I can dump some in there. And then I like Curve. Curve is cool. Curve is always Curve. Anyways, guys, make sure you guys get like an even look for some NFTs. I'm just using this as a, an example. I'm not telling you to mint one here. But the point is, is like look for early NFTs. You can mint them for mint price. Um, I wouldn't go nuts and ham and mint a bunch because theoretically they could be worth nothing um so it's just kind of like throwing a rock at it just hoping the rock hits something and you win i mean it's like one of those things like you play around with some DeFi protocols in hopes that you get an airdrop that's how it rolls um same thing with playing with arbitrum playing around with all these different protocols maybe you can get an airdrop i don't know time will tell uh probably not don't expect it that way if it doesn't happen you aren't disappointed if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys do three things for me. Like, subscribe, bell button, and leave a comment in that description below. Tell me what your favorite protocol is. And do you like Layer 1s? Do you like Layer 2s? Which one do you like better? Do you think Arbitrum will win or Optimism? That's my thought. Who's going to win out of that? Proverbs chapter 16, verses 12. Kings detest wrongdoings, for a throne is established through righteousness. Amen to that, brother. Guys, if you want to join the Patreon, it's in the description below. You get early access to these videos. And if you guys want to support the channel in a way for free, all you got to do is like, subscribe, and join the Telegram if you want, guys. It's free. You can get some alpha there. There's people way smarter than me over there. I mean, I know it's really not saying much, but still, there's some smart people over there. Um, go ahead and jump in the Telegram, and we'll see you guys in the next one. But wait, there's more. If you guys ever want to stay updated with Arbitrum, you guys can check out the portal.arbitrum1. You can see all the upcoming protocols. Check them out. They have the names all here. They got their Twitter, Discord, uh, their GitHub, so you guys can check them all out, see what they're doing. And, well, you guys can stay ahead of the game. So, guys, this is a quick overview, quick tip. Uh, make sure you guys take a look into it. Gotta say thanks to the patrons, Sean Bot, The Man, Tariq Liu, TL King, JP, PJ, Bernito, Daco Nacho, Matias, Matt There Is, DMC Codes, Isn't That a Band, Pork Rind, Oh Snap, Roslav Alexandrovich, Don't Mess With the Russian, Jay Shinny, Cool Dance Move, Mark Albano, Money Mark, Tamiko, In the House, Jay Allen, Ray Ray for three, Mario Mahushka, It's a me, a Mario. Right, so next off guys if you guys want to support the channel and get paid to do it you guys can check out celsius celsius is fire dude so what's so cool about celsius is guys first off you can get 40 dollars in free btc using my referral link in the description below just deposit 100 bucks add in the uh, code btc50 you will also get an additional 50 dollars if you deposit 400 dollars guys it's free btc 
Next is Voyager, guys. I also got a referral link in the description below. Instead of just only getting $25, you'll get $25 and some free VGX tokens, guys. Next is BlockFi. BlockFi is part of the quadruple threat. Go ahead and make a deposit. Use this referral link in the description below. You get $100. Depending on how much you deposit, you can get all the way up to, guess how much? 250 bucks. All right, so what the pants is Celsius and BlockFi for? Well, you can use both of those as like your bank. They get some pretty nice juicy yields. And Voyager is more so like trading, and it gets some juicy yields as well. And the last one to try is Crypto.com, guys. You can trade some like smaller altcoins, and you guys will get $25 in CRO once you guys get the Visa card. Why do I like the Visa card? Well, you can sell crypto and buy some junk with it so i can buy a sandwich with my crypto i don't use btc but i'll use like stable coins and junk so anyways if you guys want to support the channel that's a quadruple threat thanks for tuning in guys you'll get paid to do it y'all guys can also catch me on tweeters uh it's at rent a home fast like literally at rent a home fast